Hi everyone, this is Studio Slave on behalf of ADSR and in this video we're going to be covering the ADSR Sample Manager plugin. This is a free plugin that works on both Windows and Mac and can be used in any DAW. The Sample Manager tags all of your samples and makes them instantly searchable inside your DAW. You can point it at one folder that houses all of your sample packs or you could point it at multiple individual sample packs within any given folder. You could even point it at your splice, noise or loop cloud folders and use this plugin to search, preview and play these samples from these services in the context of your own music. This plugin supports WAV, MP3, FLAC and OGG files. We can see I have an instance of the plugin loaded up here. Just to show you how we can get this within our project, all we have to do is we navigate to the browser plugins, ADSR folder, and then we can either double click this or we can drag and drop it into an empty MIDI track and we'll see this populate the ADSR sampler into that MIDI track. As you can see, I now have two instances loaded, one on track one and one on track two. And now we can go about adding our sample packs to the ADSR plugin using the add library button on the libraries tab. So to do this, all we have to do is we click add library and from here I'll go to my desktop my sample folder and what I could do is I could select all of the samples within this folder but in this case I'm just going to select one or two so I'll go for my recycled sounds and we can see that it's now tagged this folder and it's added these tags automatically without us having to do any work and we click OK and then we click back on the libraries tab and we can see it's now up to date and it has read all of these files and we now have 20 files in our sampler device. You may also have noticed the plugin on the right has also updated so these two instances can talk to each other and they will update accordingly so they do interact with each other and know when we've added a different library it's also going to do that to all of the plugin instances across the project which is really handy. So just to demonstrate this again we'll go on to our second instance and we'll add another library and if you remember I added this library from within my main sample library so in this case I'll click add library desktop samples and this time I'm just going to add every single one of these packs and all of the subfolders within it as well so all I have to do nice and simple is click open and you can see it's now scanning and it's placed all of the tags from within the project it gives you a little breakdown of what's been tagged click OK and if we go to our libraries tab now we can see that it's analyzing all of our samples here in the background. So this frees us up to do whatever we want to do within the project. And this is just going to run in the background without disturbing us until it's analyzed all of the parts. And as we can see here, we're going to get the full analysis, which will be the tags, the BPM and the type of playback. So whether it's a loop or a one shot. And then as well as that, we've also got the name of all the samples here as well. So then we can search for them and add our own tags as well if we want. So it's a really powerful plugin. We can also add dynamic libraries as well. So something like Splice, where we might be downloading samples every other day. What we can do is we can add the actual file or folder location for Splice on our hard drive or computer. Click OK and then all we have to do is hit refresh and then any samples we've downloaded will automatically be tagged and searchable within the plugin.